it's the best of the rest. Time to put them to the test. In case your memory is hazy, it's black exploitation, baby. This is Black's History Month, a 29-day celebration of black exploitation films. When I started doing Black History Month two years ago, and I was trying to figure out which movie I would cover first, one movie kept popping up time and time again as the movie I should start with, and that movie was Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song. Since that was the first Black History Month movie I ever covered, I thought it would be perfect to end this year's Black History Month with a movie that's all about the making of that film. I covered a good bit of detail about that movie in my Black History Month video, so I won't rehash a lot of it here. I encourage you to go check that video out for more. The movie Badass is kind of a surreal movie to talk about. Just like Sweet Sweetback was written by, directed, produced, and starred in by Melvin Van Peebles, Badass was also written by, starred in, produced, and directed by his son, Mario Van Peebles. Badass is a biopic in which Mario plays his father Melvin during the time right after his father finished directing The Watermelon Man. Badass is less about the actual filming of Sweet Sweetback and more about everything leading up to it. You might initially think this makes for a disappointing film, but everything leading up to the creation of Sweet Sweetback is just as, if not more fascinating than the movie itself. It perfectly captures Hollywood during a time when they saw not only no value in black actors, but also black films that didn't involve black people either playing comedy figures, villains, or any other stupid stereotype. This despite Hollywood struggling mightily in the early 70s. In steps Melvin Van Peebles. Fed up with the system and the portrayal of black folks, he decides to make a movie basically for us, by us. One with a black man that can be seen as a hero and a representative of the hood. What makes the movie so entertaining, aside from being based mostly in fact, is watching Melvin struggle unnecessarily to get his film off the ground. He can't get funding because nobody has faith in black projects, so he has to seek out sketchy individuals for funding. That ranges from guys who try to sleep with him for it, to men with egos who are intimidated by him. It's crazy to watch, and I have no doubt that a lot of it actually happened. Then once Melvin decides to do everything himself, it still isn't smooth sailing and he has to deal with issues on top of issues. For a movie where you already know what happens, it somehow finds a way to keep you on edge. It's incredibly engaging and a testament to how passionate Mario was to tell his father's story. It's got some emotion to it also, and addresses something even I had wondered after seeing Sweet Sweet Bake, and that's the weird Mario sex scene in that movie. It's up to you to decide if Badass handles it well or not, but I'm just glad it was even addressed. There is some small weirdness here, like how some of the reshot scenes from Sweetback don't match what actually happened in the real movie, but there are so few callbacks to the film that you don't really care. Especially since the movie is so stacked with talent. Just listen to this list. Mario Van Peebles, T.K. Carter, Terry Crews, Ossie Davis, David Allen Greer, Nia Long, Glenn Plummer, Khalil Kane, and so on, and so on, and so on. It's so many great actors here that it's crazy that this film has flew under the radar for so many years. Sweet Sweetback is a highly important film in the history of black exploitation and black independent filmmaking. And the badass movie stresses that fact almost more than the Sweetback movie itself. The financial success of Sweetback convinced Hollywood that movies marketed to a black audience could be successful and launched a whole genre among many other accolades. Hell, it's probably the reason I'm doing Black's History Month right now. Ironically, where Sweetback was a financial success, but with mixed reviews critically, Badass was a financial flop, but was highly rated critically. It's arguably Mario Van Peebles' best film, and if you're a fan of black exploitation or even just a fan of black cinema and want a history on possibly the first successful independent black film, then Badass is required viewing. And I hope that this year's Black History Month was required viewing for all of you. There's a lot of work that goes into this, but I love every minute of it, and I also love the support I get from all of you guys, and truly appreciate it. I haven't decided yet if I'll continue the series next year, mostly because I'm kind of running out of movies to cover. But rest assured, 
Even if it's not the same exact format, I'll still have something cool and unique in store for all of you. So until then, and until next time, thank you, and I'll holla at you.